What makes a great fishing destination? Is it the scenery or maybe the nice weather? Is it the friendly local guides or maybe the accessible boat ramps? Or in the end, is it just the water with its astounding fish? If you think that all of the above are equally important, then you should really consider a weekend fishing trip or even a longer angling vacation to Ogallala, Nebraska, located only eight miles from spectacular Lake McConaughey and its smaller but equally impressive Lake Ogallala, two of the most remarkable bodies of water in the West, both located along the famous North Platte River. A gigantic man-made body of water, Lake McConaughey is 22 miles long, four miles wide at its largest point, and about 142 feet deep near Kingsley Dam, which was built between 1936 and 1941 to serve the irrigation needs of the state of Nebraska. The reservoir has a capacity of 1,700,000 acre feet of water, covers over 35,000 acres, and has more than 70 miles of shoreline, making it the largest public access reservoir in Nebraska. You know, the neat thing about McConaughey is it is, it's big water, and a guy could spend a lot of time uh, covering it, and the guys that spend a lot of time here have dozens of spots that they fish. And some of those spots are community spots that other guys know about, other spots are their oh, secrets too. The secrets. I joke about that. There are no secrets anymore. Word tends to get around. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a few spots that you try and keep in your back pocket and uh, maybe save from one of those days when everyone's struggling to catch fish. At any opportunity I get to get in a boat, I'm in the boat. And with the big water on Lake McConaughey, there's certain times of year where you will have a lot better luck fishing out of a boat just because you can get off shore, you can cover more water. With all the water-based recreation provided by Lake McConaughey and Lake Ogallala, you do have to be safe out on the water. Uh, you want to watch the weather because wind can be kind of tricky on the big lake. Of course, you want to have your boat properly equipped with all the life jackets and safety gear you need to have. And also know that if you're operating motorized watercraft, uh, boats or jet skis or things like that, Nebraska does require a boating safety course. We recognize all other states' courses, so if you're visiting us from another state, your home state certification works here as well. But there's other times of the year, even on McConaughey, where the fish are inshore, they're close, um, and you don't even need a boat to get them, and you get some big fish too. As you saw, some of those sandy shorelines are relatively shallow, so if you can wade out, uh, that'll help you catch more fish. Uh, the fact that the lake was constructed on the edge of the Nebraska sand hills uh, gives it its natural white sand beaches, which is an experience you're not going to find uh, anywhere else. We call it Nebraska's Inland Ocean. Very, very nice sand, sugar sand we call it around here. And it's accessible to anybody that has a, a four-wheel drive or, or you can hire somebody to pull your camper down onto the beach. So that makes it great for camping on the beach. And it's also unique in that campers can come right on the beach with their, with their trailer, their RV, their camper, and park there and really experience that, uh, that feeling of, of sunrise and sunset at, at the beach. This is a really neat area though because you got the Platte Valley. The Sand Hills, which is kind of uniquely Nebraskan, is just north of us here, and you can see the Sand Hills off to the north. You got some of the rocky outcroppings here in the valley. Um, so you got kind of a blend there. And of course, McConaughey with the sandy beaches is kind of unique for us too. And then, you know, Nebraska is not a place where we have a lot of trees, um, but we have trees in the river valleys, lots of cottonwoods, lots of cedars here. It's spectacular this fall, especially um, the cottonwoods have held their leaves and have been really yellow. You get some ash trees that are like that too. And it's, you know, it's Nebraska scenery and I think it's, it's pretty neat. 